Hi, this is Kathy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert an action button on a slide in, in PowerPoint. So right now I have a slide on the screen, and I'm going to insert a home button. When you click the home action button, when, when you're running a slideshow, um, PowerPoint will take you to the first slide. So um, you can either do it from the home tab or the insert tab. I'm going to use the insert tab. So insert, and I'm going to insert a shape. So I click the shapes button. And then I'm going to come down and click on Action Buttons. I'm going to resize the um, Shapes Gallery so you can see the shapes. Action Buttons are at the bottom of the list, so I'm going to scroll down. These are the different types of Action Buttons right here. Here's the Home button. I'm going to click it once. I let go of my mouse. I'm moving the mouse to the slide where I want the Action Button to be. So right now my mouse is a crosshair, and I'm, I'm going to position the mouse on the lower right hand corner, and I want to drag with my mouse, I'm going to click and drag, um, to draw the button, and I like to start in the upper right hand corner and drag down to the right. Alright, so I'm positioning my mouse, I'm holding down my left mouse button, I'm dragging down. The shape can be rectangular, or if you want it square, you hold down the shift key. Okay, now I'm going to uh, release my mouse and the shift key. The action settings dialog box displays and it says that I've created a hyperlink to the first slide. That's the default for a home button. I can change that to something else, but I want it to go to the first slide. So I'm going to click OK. And if I want to move the button down a little bit, if you want to move it, you point to it and you when you have that quadruple headed arrow, that's the move tool. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. And then to resize it, I can use one of the corner resizing handles. When you point to one of those, you get that uh, double-headed arrow in the center to make this a little bit smaller. And if I want it bigger, I can drag it up. I'm going to click off of it to deselect it. Now to test it, you'll need to be in the slideshow view or, or the reading view if you're in PowerPoint 2010. This window is a PowerPoint 2010 window, and it looks very similar to PowerPoint 2007. So I'm going to click the slideshow button down here on the status bar. When you click this, the presentation runs from the current slide. So that would be the slide on the screen here. And this is um, a good way to test the action button. So I'm going to click there. To end the slideshow, you're going to press Escape, and that will take you back to normal view. I'm going to click the Reading View button, which is right here on the status bar. Now I can test the action button. Notice when I point my mouse to it, I have the, the hand with the pointing finger that indicates that I'm pointing to a link or a hyperlink. If you point your mouse at the button and you don't see that, you, you may need to move it around because there could be a, a text placeholder or something in the way. Now I'm going to click it and what's going to happen is uh, PowerPoint will take you to the first slide in the presentation. Okay, there you go. If you have any questions about creating action buttons, just post a comment and I will respond and help you out. Thanks a lot. Bye.